In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best ad spies to help you find some of the best dropshipping products to sell. I'm a spy. I'm a spy. Adult DS's TikTok ad spy feature is now simply just ad spy. Why? Because now you're not limited to just TikTok. Now you have the ability to be able to search through Facebook and TikTok ads. Now to get started with this feature and check out all of its benefits, you're only going to need one prerequisite, and that's going to be to simply be a member of the AutoDS family. Now, if you haven't signed up just yet, or if you've been on the fence about joining us, then you can check us out right now for the trial period for two weeks for just $1. Once you have everything set up and you're signed in, then you're going to have access to an entire library of ads that you can use to one, find different dropshipping products that are best sellers and currently trending, and two, Tons of inspiration on how to create or structure your own content for your own content marketing strategy. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and start diving in and let's see how we can find some of the best sellers using the AutoDS Ad Spy. All right, so first things first, you're going to have three different tabs. You're going to have the All tab, which is going to include both Facebook and TikTok. And then you're going to have the Individual tabs, which is going to be the Facebook and the TikTok ad. And quick secret, not sure if I'm supposed to reveal this yet, but oh well. We're going to have an Instagram one soon too. So with that being said, under the all section, you're going to have the option to view all of the different ads, whether they be Facebook or TikTok. On top of that, you can filter through everything using our advanced filtering system. So for one, you can search for either different keywords or even different hashtags. Aside from that, you can also go ahead and search by the amount of likes or whether or not the video has a product linked to it. So if it's a TikTok shop video, then it will have a product linked to it. If it's not, most likely it won't or even let's say on a Facebook ad where it says shop now, that would also be considered a linked product. Now, besides that, you have the CTA button. So what do you want the CTA to be? Do you wanna search for only ads that say shop now or order now or any of the other ones here? Now, my suggestion to you, stick with the most relevant in this case, because honestly, when you're looking for dropshipping products or when you wanna see what other people are selling, you want to see what they're selling, not necessarily what they're offering. So when you offer something, you, you can also offer services and that's not what we're looking for. So we want to stick to things like shop now, order now, maybe even visit store, shop here, things along those lines. But things like book now, learn more or send message, not necessarily. But if there's anything that you're thinking about or if there's anything else you want to use this for, feel free to use any of these other CTA buttons as well. And then besides that, you have the interaction rate. The interaction rate percentage is going to be a percentage that's calculated by tallying up all of the different comments, likes, shares, and all of the engagement information. Now, besides that, you also have some advanced filters. So here you can also filter by the amount of shares. So this is a bit more specific and it's a bit less. So you're going to have under five shares. So it could be videos that are just getting started between five to 50 videos that are starting to pick up some traction or more than 50 videos that seem to be trending and have picked up a good amount of traction so far. Aside from that, same goes for the comments and even the last comment time. So when was the last time that somebody was active on this post? Now, this is relevant simply because sometimes some posts are not going to be relevant anymore. People aren't going to be commenting on them because either for one, the trend is over or two, the video just kind of died down. So this is one way to be able to see or gauge more or less what's relevant and also the number of views. So how many views does the video have? In this case, I like to just simply keep it at more than 20,000 because that for the most part is already more than enough. 20,000 views is a lot. Besides that, you have a bit more information here if you want to get more specific. So if you want to drop ship in any other country besides, let's say, the US, you want to see what's trending maybe in Canada, you can go ahead and switch that over here. So what are they selling in Canada? And same thing goes for the language. Do you want to stick to English ads or English videos? If not, you have all of these other options here. And last but not least, when was the ad created? So you have the option to choose when the ad was actually uploaded and when it went live. So this can go either from a custom range for, I don't know, a month, two months, a year ago to simply ads that came out yesterday or videos that were published yesterday. Two more quick things that can get you pretty specific results also include the media type. So is it going to be an image, a video or a carousel? A carousel is that option where you have multiple, whether it be videos or pictures or both together, and you just swipe through them. That's a carousel. And then the e-commerce platform. So where is the item being sold? Where is the ad directing you to? Is it going to direct you to TikTok.com, which is going to be the TikTok shop or Shopify, somebody's own website, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, or any of these other suppliers or marketplaces. So for this, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to show you a quick example of what we can do to find a product. And I'm going to look for something that has between 100 to 1000 likes. I think that's pretty fair. And in terms of keywords, what do we want to look for? Let's say something in the pet niche, maybe dog toys. 
And here we have a couple of ads. So we only have three so far, but if we simply just take off toy, you're going to have a lot more. So a lot more drop shipping products that are relevant to the dog niche. So let's check out this one right here. My slushy pro. What is this? Let's check out the ad. Also, it's a doggy splash pad. I've seen these before. All right. So right now from a general view or from a general overview, you can see that it has 189 likes, seven comments and 36 shares. So overall, the video is doing pretty well. It has 24,000 views and it has just over the amount of likes that we requested. So over a hundred. So let's check out the TikTok ad really fast. So here now you get a lot more information. You get more information on the engagement in terms of the likes, the comments, the total interactions. And this is really cool. You even get a graph that shows you all of the different interactions in the past seven days. So here you can see that in terms of views, it's gotten quite a lot and it keeps going. But in terms of shares, it's got it's stayed kind of stale. Same thing with likes and comments. It's been kind of stale. It hasn't been moving too much. It doesn't have as much in terms of those types of interactions that it does, let's say, in views. So in that case, you can see that here the interaction rate is less than one percent. So while a lot of people are watching the video doesn't necessarily mean a lot of people are clicking on that ad to go check out the product. So my suggestion is look for something that has a bit higher interaction rate. So not something that's just stale like this. Now this could be just for this particular video. There could very well be another video that's similarly structured for the same exact product that's doing way better. Now, if you want to see if this person or the seller has any other ads that are similar to this, that could potentially be doing better. All you have to do is click over here, which shows see more ads from this advertiser. And then you can see all of the different ones that my slushy pro is advertising. So here's the one we just saw, but here's all of the other ones that they're trying to sell or all of the other products that they're trying to promote. As you can see, it's a lot of different influencers and a lot of different people. So this is going to be most likely a generic account, not necessarily geared towards, let's say, one influencer or something like that. But let's see if we can find something else through one of their videos. Check out this push up board right here. It actually looks like it has some pretty good interactions. So it still has less than one percent, but it does have a lot more likes, has a lot more views and has a good amount more more comments. All right, let's just check out one more. Let's remove the my slushy pro. So I got a bit specific with my search and I put in between a thousand to ten thousand likes, no linked product, no CTA button and more than a two percent interaction rate. But I also added that I want the e-commerce platform to be Shopify. So this by itself is going to help me find more dropshipping products because most people dropship on Shopify. So let's go ahead and apply those filters and let's look through some of the different options that they have. So scrolling through all of these different ones, this is pretty interesting. Turn heads wherever you ride moto loot. Let's go ahead and click on that. Oh, it's a helmet cover. OK, click on learn more. Let's check out the ad really fast. So it's just showing you the person on the on the motorcycle with the helmet cover. It's pretty funny riding like a bunny. And <laughs> and as you start to go fast, the ears go back. That's really cool. All right. So this is actually a pretty cool product. So I'm pretty interested in it. It has two point seven thousand likes, forty nine comments, about almost a three percent interaction rate. That's not bad. All right. So now we have two options. We can either click on to see the original post, which will take us to the TikTok video. But if you click on a TikTok video like this, since this is an advertisement, you're not going to necessarily be able to click on the actual profile. So let's say I click on the profile here. It'll just take me to the user, which is the person that's registered with the TikTok ads account. So that's not going to help us. But what will help us is to simply click on the CTA button here, which is the learn more. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then we can see that it takes us directly to the Moto Loot website. Now on here, I want to check this one. I've seen this one before somewhere. I'm not sure. You got Nemo over here. So let's check out this one, the bunny or the evil rabbit. Now I want to offer this in my store. How can I go ahead and source this myself? I'm not going to be purchasing it directly from Moto Loot now, am I? What I'm going to do is simply click on right click and then go to search image with Google. Once I do that, this little panel is going to open up on the side and I'm going to have all of these different links. I'm going to have some AliExpress links, the one directly for Moto Loot, another one through Biker Central on Alibaba and tons of other websites. So let's look up our typical suppliers so that way we can see more or less what it's going for. Let's check out a few of these different ones here. All right, so if we have the gray rabbit. This one's $16.99, typically 30, but it's no longer available. But if you look down here, you can find a few other options that are pretty similar, if not the same exact ones like this one right here. So here they have it. And this seems to be the exact same one for $9.23 with just about $7 shipping. Now that in itself isn't bad. Let's do some quick profit analysis. So it's $40 that they're selling it for. So they're selling it for $40 and then subtract how much you pay 923 minus I think we said about seven. So you're going to have a profit potential of about $23 and 77 cents. 
So as you can see, using the AutoDS Ad Spy feature is extremely helpful and very, very efficient. You can find products really quickly with this. Now let's check out the Facebook side. Just so you can see the difference, even though it is really going to be the same thing. Here you can see that you have the same basic filters up here. So you have to be able to search the likes, whether or not there's a link product and everything else. Now let's take a quick look inside one of these ads really fast so we can see what the TikTok ads look like versus the Facebook ads. So in this case, I'm also going to search for the same thing that we did earlier. A thousand to ten thousand, no linked product, an interaction rate of more than 2%. So once I have that set up, let's go ahead and click on advanced filters. And now you're going to notice one quick difference, or maybe you might not. I didn't notice it at first, but here you can't choose what e-commerce platform you're going to be led to because typically for the most part, it is going to be Shopify. Although you can get sent to a few other websites, like let's say target, if it's a target ad, but if it's a drop shipper, it's going to be Shopify most likely. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet a thousand to 10,000 with more than 2% interaction rate. Let's go ahead and search. All right. So now let's see what we can find. I saw an ad for these at one point, Celtic, not jewelry. Let's check out the ad really fast. You got the, the bagpipes in the back. Okay. So it's a very simple ad. All they're doing is showing the, the earrings and that's it. So it has 8.3 thousand reactions. It's not that bad. 225 comments, 337,000 views. That's a lot of views. But then again, it is a Facebook ad. These typically tend to have more views. Now, if you notice, there's also a difference on here, here you have audience information. Now this one is still loading up all the, all of the data, but let's take a quick look at a different one. So let's maybe look at, let's maybe look at this one over here. So this is snoozer pet products over stuff sofas. All right. So pet beds pretty much. Now here you have, like I was going to show you earlier, the audience information. So you can see where the main audience is. So what country is purchasing this the most? In this case, you can see that it's actually Portugal, Spain, and Malta. I'm not sure where that is to be honest with you. But besides that, you also have more information on the actual demographic of people. So the gender for the most part, in this case, it's females just at about 75%. So 74.9% or 19. The age demographic. So here for the most part, you're going to be targeting people between the ages of 25 and 54. That seems to be the primary age target. And you also have an ad timeline, which pretty much just tells you more information on the ad itself as to when it was created. And one other unique feature to this is the reactions. So you can actually see how many reactions this has based on the type of reaction. So it has zero of the angry ones, one sad face. I'm not sure why that's the case. Maybe it was an accidental one, the love, surprised and the laughing and the others. So that's the new AutoDS Ad Spy feature and its new feature release. What did you think of it? Have you used it before? Have you ever used an Ad Spy service to be able to spy in the competition or find your next winning dropshipping product? If so, or if not, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it's greatly appreciated. My name is Mario with AutoDS and catch you all next time.